We just woke up this morning and we could hear something hitting the ladder. Oh, he's trying to have sex with it. No, he's a juvenile. What's he doing then? What's he doing? <laughs> What's he doing? Is he trying to swim through it? <laughs> You're not going to fit, buddy. What is going on? He just swam off. Have a nice day. We've loved our time here at Double Island Point, um, but like everything, it has to come to an end. It's over! Ah, <laughs> oh, wow. That was great. Good swim. Great. Emily's just going for a, a little dunk before we head off. We're gonna sail to Malula Bar today. Let's do this thing. northeast uh, so we're not going we're not bashing straight into these waves because we're a bit worried that we're gonna lose the tinny um, and our davits because they're a bit weak and the tinny's too big and we haven't we, we got <laughs> we've got no money to um, uh, buy a new tender so we just have to deal with it but we're just trying to not bash into the wind right now so we are um, attacking to the left and then when we do another tack We'll go um, a little bit more side onto the swell so that we won't damage anything and it won't be uncomfortable for us. And it's been bending at this point. So, yeah, got to take precautions. You never want to bash into it anyway. Tack? Tack? Yeah, that's tack. <laughs> I almost fell off just then. Oh my god, do not drop my camera. Oh, what about me? <laughs> Come on, just don't drop the captain overboard. Jesus. First mate's priorities, wow. Those rocks over there have been the culprit of many shipwrecks. So watch out for wolf rocks, everyone. The wind was really light that day and surprisingly, we couldn't get the sails to set. So I remembered I had the asymmetrical sail down below and I brought that out to prepare to put up to hopefully push us along at a nicer speed. Um, and after hoisting the asymmetrical sail for quite some time and uh, it pushing us along at a decent speed, maybe three knots or so, um, I decided that 
maybe the jib could go out as well, but I'd never done it before, so I was really, really curious to see if it was going to work. We've got, we got our Genoa out and our asymmetrical sail out. It's the first time I've ever done this and it's working. if you can see but it's huge there's another good one there I got lots of dreadlocks you're gonna have to get it cut eventually we may as well utilize the time we have out here and prevent it from getting any worse I'd rather this than short back inside what no <laughs> on a rough rough cost um, he has Oh, longish hair um, that's in a huge dreadlock that he needs to get shaved off basically okay no worries thank you it's gonna cost you $38 Jesus <laughs> oh my god I'm excited to get a new boyfriend <laughs> no the same boyfriend <sighs> but new look a new look of my boyfriend and maybe you could shave your beard as well. Get flabbergasted, Missy. I would just like to send out my condolences to every single strand of hair that has been living on my head for the past five years since I've had my last cut. Now, with this new chapter and this new phase of hairdo, I would like to appreciate all the new hair that will be making its way into my life. Here we are at Logan's Barber. Moment before the moment. The moment before the moment. Are you ready? <laughs> no. The man in the sky.
Hello, new sage. Let's go. knots of breeze. Yep, it's um pretty full on. Lucky we're protected with a few good sandbanks and a, uh, a small radius of fetch. <laughs> yeah, could be a lot worse. Yeah. No ground spell either. We're at Bribey Island right now. How fast the wind's blowing? I reckon like 35 to 40 knots. Yeah, it's predicted 35 to 40. What do you got going on? I said I was making pancakes. surprised how loud it is. Oh, it's hectic out here. I mean, we're here. Look at this big storm. Stuck inside for half a day now. <laughs> Nothing. No, it's not that, not that dramatic, is it? No. But what is dramatic is this boat that's next to us. That is a ripped asymmetrical sail right there. So it's important to not panic. Take for granted the strong weather. And really, strong wind is dangerous. So there's the owner. Drop the spinnaker. Oh. Yeah. Worst thing to come back to. Yeah. Wouldn't happen if you live on your boat. If a view boat wasn't your second home. Which is the name of that boat. <laughs> second home. It's about to rain like crazy, but we need to eat. So we're going to cook and hang out in the rain. The it's not exactly weather tight. Waterproof. <laughs> No. Um, so that was one of the first things we were going to fix when we get home. We're going to make this bad boy rain proof. What just happened? We ran out of gas for gas for gas for gas. We lost the opportunity to cook. There it is. Got our vegan sausages. These are vegan. So what just happened, babe? We ran out of gas mid cook. Rain, mid storm. I'm pissed off. Emily's a bit upset. Sage is pissed off that we're, I'm pissed off. We're all a bit pissed off that the gas stopped and the meal has stopped. But I just dug through the entire boat to locate this little guy. Um, so, looks like we're due to a trip for the mainland. We're going a little bit crazy on board Pearl today. Um, storm has been and will continue to be blowing a gale. We're actually um, experiencing 40 knot winds, which I've never experienced before, so. It's all happening! It's all happening on Pearl. We did it! Successful past the creation. It only took like an hour and a half. Oh, wow. Yeah, it took a long time. Um, but it was good. Is it good? Well, we're gonna eat now 
and the storm is still alive and brewing, don't you worry, probably for quite a long longer. Well, good morning to this. Boat's only like 15 meters away. Don't know what is happening. We're gonna re-anchor. pretty smashed by that storm yesterday. Um, I'm not sure if we told you, but our front tramp fully, um, not ripped, but it detached from the boat. We're gonna work on our front tramp because uh, it needs some attention. It um, fully broke the other day. So we're gonna re-thread it through the track. Um, and fix this one as well. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully just crimp the metal in together so it's a bit tighter and it doesn't come out again. Um, but yeah. Fingers crossed. Instead of uh, unthreading the rope, we're just going to take out the, the rod that's in the tramp so it just kind of falls away and then when we want to put it back together it's not going to be as hard as it was the first time because getting this rope <laughs> through there and back out is really hard so we're just going to pull out the, the rod to make it a bit easier. It's mm, good. piece of the puzzle this one. Let's not lose that guy. Straighten it back out a little bit. Let's see how this goes. So far so good. <laughs> Alright, plan of attack. Um, bash the sail track back together so it never comes back out. Screwing her back on now and then we're gonna hammer her shut. And then Hopefully it never comes out again. Re-thread it and we'll be good to go. Just got to do this bit. Yeah, and then we're done. We have our front tramp back. Woohoo! So nice. All right, so th to thread the rod through the um, tramp, I'm just creating a little loop here, threading this through, and then into the next track. Same thing here. done. Yep, it's coming together. We did it guys. Front all... tramp successfully constructed. Yeah, it's good teamwork. Yeah, we worked well together. We did, that's great. Look. A usable front tramp. Got 45 seconds to shine. Well, I dropped a very important piece of the winch over the side of the boat. So I'm going to go and dive and see if it's there. Except we're in a really shark infested place right now. Um, and look at the visibility. There is no visibility. No. Thanks so much for tuning in this week, guys. Uh, I was experimenting a little bit with the music uh, overlaying these clips, uh, recording it onto the computer and then layering it up uh, with a few different kinds of beats and rhythms. I'd love to know what you think um, and if you enjoy uh, hearing a different kind of music over the top of these videos instead of just the conventional stuff. Anyway, uh, thanks so much for watching and hope to see you next week.
and don't forget to subscribe. It always helps when you hit that notifications bell if you want to stay up to date.